In this lesson, we're going to look at lines and slopes. We're going to look at how to find the slope of a line. And we're going to just take a look at some special cases. So we want to find the slope of a line. Here are the steps we're going to follow. We're going to identify two points on the line and form a right triangle from the two points. So let's look for two points on the line. I'm going to pick this point right here and I'm going to take this point right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to form a right triangle. So I'm going to draw a line here and I'm going to draw a line down here. We'll have a right triangle and then we're going to trace the rise and the run. So important thing to know when you're dealing with rise and run, if you're going from up to down, you are dealing with a negative rise. If you're going, but if you're going from down to up, from top to bottom, is going to be, from top to bottom is a negative slope. The way you want to look at it is, if you look at the y-axis, for example, if you look at the y-axis, if you're going from the top to the bottom, you see the numbers become more negative. So that becomes more of a negative, that's a negative rise. But if you're going from left to right, if you look at the x-axis, you can see that the numbers are going from negative to positive. But if you're going from right to left, you see the numbers are going from positive to negative. So left to right is positive and right to left is negative. So now let's get our slope here. The slope here is going to be rise over run. So now let's look at the rise. So I'm coming from here, right here. So I am actually going to have a negative rise because I'm going towards the negative y. I'm becoming more negative as I go downwards. So we have negative 6. And then our run, so we stop right here. And then our run also is negative because we're going from right to left. We got two units. So that is going to give us positive 3. So our slope is positive 3 in this instance. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify two points. I like to use points that I do, that I, that have easy, the coordinates are so easy to, to locate. So let's use this right here. So we're going to draw a right triangle. So I'm going to draw a line down here. And then we're going to run this way toward the line. So our slope is going to be rise over run. So what we're doing here is we're going from the top to the bottom. So that's going to be a negative rise. So let's see how many units. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have negative six. But look at our run. Our run is going from left to right. So our numbers are becoming more positive. So we have one, two, three units. So our slope is going to be equal to negative two. We're going to look at this to find the slope of this line. So let's write our formula. I like the habit of writing out the formula so you know what you're working toward. So rise over run. So let's look at the points we're going to select. I'm going to pick this point right here and I'm going to pick this point right here. So let's draw our right triangle. Okay. Now our rise, so we go from here down. So our rise is going to be 
negative 2. What about our run? So we get here and we're going to take 8 units from right to left. So we have a negative 8. So we divide this through. So the negative cancels each other out. 2 divided by 8, you have 1 over 4 for your slope. Now, we're going to look at one of the special cases. The special case here is, we have just, um, we have just a horizontal line on the y-axis. So let's look at our slope. It's going to be rise over run. You can see here that we cannot form a right triangle. And for us to get a rise, we have to go from top to bottom or bottom to top. But this graph actually only, this graph only is a, horiz is a horizontal line. So what's our rise? We don't have a rise, so our rise is zero. And it doesn't matter what our run is. So because our rise is zero, I mean, we can pick two spots here negative 4 and 2. So we go from left to right. It's going to give us 6. So this is going to give us a 0, a slope of 0. So all horizontal lines have a, have a slope of 0. Now let's look at the vertical line. So slope again is going to be rise over run. What is our rise? We have lots of different possibilities. I could say from negative 1 to 1, which is going to give you 2. What is our run? We don't have a run because it's a vertical line. So it's going to be 0, which is undefined. So this means that this particular line has no slope. So this is what you do when you're dealing with lines and slopes. And this is looking for a slope when you have a given line on a graph.